on YouTube, this is another QAZWSX2541 Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a pause screen to your game in Blender. Um, so first off, I'm going to be using this uh, really simple template. All it is is when you start the game, you can move a cube back and forth. Whoa! Exciting. Okay, so um, I'm going to be showing you how to add a pause screen uh, to this. So the first thing we're going to do is you need to download a couple of scripts or you can write these out. So split the screen, change this new window to a text editor and then do a text open text block. I already have both of these. I have both of these um, saved here and I actually already have them both open as well. Okay. So you can download those, open them both up. After you do that, you can right click on this and we can just join the area back up again. So next what we're going to do is we're going to go to we're going to go up to the top of the screen here and we're going to add a new scene. We're going to name this one pause. And on this scene we're going to hit shift A, we're going to add a camera, hit alternate R to clear the rotation of the camera, drag it up on the Z axis. We're going to hit Shift A and let's add a text object. So we're going to hit 0 to go to the camera view now. And we're going to enter edit mode by hitting tab on the text object and we're going to um, just hit backspace and we're going to put in the uh, text resume. Gonna scale this down, move it to the center. Then we're going to hit Shift S, cursor to selected, Shift A, add mesh plane orbit around by pressing down on the center mouse button and just drag it on the z-axis so it's right behind the text there. And switch back to the camera angle and now we just scale the plane so it kind of fits around the text. And enter the game to make sure the uh, text actually fits. Now we could use alternate C to convert this text to a mesh but if you ever want to change it later um, you can't do that with the other way. So I'm going to change this uh, plane to a new color just to get you know a different color in there. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to select the text and we're going to go to the physics tab, switch to Blender game in the top middle, and in the physics tab for the text we'll switch it to no collision. Now with the plane we're going to add an always sensor, add a Python controller, we're going to have show mouse so it'll run the script show mouse next we're going to do a mouse sensor so we're going to do left button tap and we're going to do a mouse um, over we're going to have an and controller and we're going to wire those both into there you can minimize both those controllers next we're going to add a new property we're going to name this unpause and this is just so that the uh, mouse will uh, be re-hidden whenever we unpause the game. So we can go to the actuator, we can add a new actuator, this will be a property actuator. And this will be a assign, and we will assign the property unpause to a value of 1. Okay. So next what we're going to do is we're going to add a property sensor, so whenever the property unpause is equal to 1, we will run the Python controller hide mouse, add another and controller, and we will also do scene, and we will do a resume scene, and then we're going to select our game scene, which in this case is named scene, and then we're going to add another scene actuator, and this one will be a remove scene, and here we're going to choose the pause screen. So we'll remove the pause screen and resume the game. Next up I'm going to select a general object, in this case I'll select the camera. I'm going to add an always sensor, add an and controller, I'm going to add a scene actuator. This scene actuator will be a pa uh, suspend scene and we're going to select our game scene from there. Now of course here if you had more than one scene, like if you had an overlay scene, you would also pause those um, so you would add another actuator and have it suspend those scenes as well. Same with whenever you resume, you would also add more uh, resume 
scene actuators there. So next we go to our game and we can select our player and let's add a new keyboard sensor. Um, let's do P so we'll hit the uh, P key to pause, add an AND controller and then add a scene actuator and the scene actuator is going to be an add overlay scene actuator. We're going to add pause. So whenever we play, we hit P, you can see the mouse pops up and we get the text resume on the screen. We also can no longer move our cube. Whenever we hit resume, the mouse is hidden, the resume text goes away, and we can again move our cube. So, um, so we can move our cube, hit P, it pauses, we don't move our cube anymore, we hit resume, and we can move our cube again. So something else that's nice to see on pause screens is whenever it's tinted. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to hit Shift A and Mesh Plane. I'm going to drag this down behind everything else, scale it way up so that it easily covers the, uh, the whole camera viewport. Go to the Materials tab, add New. I'm going to make this pitch black. But then I'm going to go down to the bottom, check Mark Transparency, and turn Alpha down. Um, let's try 0.4-ish. So we'll go back to our main scene. We hit play. Whenever we pause, you see it kind of tinted everything else. And whenever we hit resume, the tint goes away. So we can add more options to our pause screen here by simply selecting the plane and then shift selecting the text. If we hit shift D, we can go down and we can edit this resume. So let's go to, let's say main menu. Um, I'm going to scale this guy down a bit, hit play, and we can see we got um, that guy there. So if we select the plane that's behind main menu, instead of resuming the scene, scene we're actually going to do a set scene. We're going to do a uh, set scene, and then we could go to main menu. I'm not going to actually do that now. Um, so actually, let's rename this to uh, quit. Um, scale him back up now. So what we'll actually do with the plane in the background is instead of set scene we will do a game actuator and we will do a quit game and we can get rid of that remove scene. So now we go to our main scene, we can play, we can move our cube around, we can pause, we cannot move our cube around, we can either resume or we can pause again and we can quit. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. You can pretty much use, you can make new buttons on your menu to do whatever you want. Um, they just kind of wire into this AND controller here. Um, so thank you all very much for watching. I'm sorry about not getting uh, tutorials out. It's just been um, really stressful with uh, college and uh, I live on a farm so we have to do deal with a lot of cows and farm work and um, so it's been really stressful. Uh, Quaz plays games. I'm putting a new video up on there um, probably about the same time as I'm putting this video up on this channel so you can go check that out as well. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.